<coughs> yeah. So this is a second uh, video of the bootstrap topic. Uh, I plan to give the third video in module five about this bootstrap. Yeah. All right, first, in this one, we look at several simple features. The first one, table. Yeah. Table, very simple. Yeah. But if we use bootstrap, so we can do a little more things. Yeah. So here, I just give you a basic idea. Yeah. I do not need to cover many different ways. I just select a few ways to give you a simple idea. Yeah. All right. First, how do we use bootstrap way to, to create a different styles of the tables? Yeah. The way is very simple. Yeah. We know the bootstrap is CSS framework. Yeah. Basically, the most of the features about CSS features. Yeah. Although it uses some JavaScript, because if you need to do some dynamic features, you need JavaScript. Yeah, yeah but the, the main part, CSS. And more specifically, it uses CSS classes. Yeah. Most of the features, we use different CSS classes to do it. Here, the table, we use one special CSS class, this table class, dot table, table class. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so it's a simple way. Yeah. I include examples for this video yeah, in the folder, uh, zip, zip file. I will give it to you. Yeah. So the first example, BS table one dot HTML. Yeah. So in this table, you can see a simple bootstrap table way. Yeah. When we use the table class. Yeah. All right. And here you can see the basic features line padding, horizontal dividers, and horizontal lines. Padding, you can see some space, right? Yeah. So that's the, you know, basic style of the bootstrap table. Yeah. Then we can also do several other types of the tables. The first type, strip rows. Here, because think about if sometimes if you want to display data in the relatively big table you have many lines many rows for your users it is very easy to get confused yeah because if so many rows are very crowded it is very hard to keep track of each row yeah in that situation you may like to use this strip it rows yeah you just use a special class table dash strip it so this class you can put this kind of style to your table yeah if we look at the example like this okay yeah so you can see uh every other row you get dark color yeah so it is very much easier to keep track of each row okay so you have many rows yeah when you read yeah so you won't you know easily get to different rows yeah so that you know yeah. also visually uh, this style also uh, the users usually like this this way uh, if the table is relatively big the code is as simple as this. Yeah. So the table, the class part, you, you can see here we use two classes to describe the style. The first class, just the basic table. Yeah. Yeah. Because we, we, we need a basic table first. 
Then second, you need to add the strip it feature. Strip it feature. So you use the second class. Yeah. So so convenient. Yeah. So using this same idea or same way, later you may like to add multiple styles using different classes in this way. Yeah. All right. Next table type called a bordered table. Yeah. You may like to ask some border. Yeah. Also very simple. We use this class table dash bordered class. Yeah. So in the example here, you can see, so you can see some border lines. Yeah. Uh, like this. The way you just the second class use table dash bordered. Very straightforward. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Although there are several more styles, but I do not want to cover all the styles. Yeah. So here basically give you uh, the ideas how to use the different types of tables when you need it. So you just search, you know, bootstrap tutorials, documents, uh, you know, web so you can easily find the right way to do it yeah. Yeah. here for beginners i still i recommend w3 schools for the first reference yeah. advanced you can you know search other sources but for the first uh, resource for beginners so w3 schools is a very good starting point yeah yeah for bootstrap also yeah. yeah all right then we want to look at it. different image shapes yeah. so when we display images so in html so we know how to display images yeah. but if we use bootstrap framework css framework we can do a little more here you get idea if you want to do something better more features more more interesting features bootstrap is a good choice yeah here i show you several examples yeah. the first one called the rounded corners this feature so when you display image yeah, so you can make the four corners rounded corners yeah so you know visual effect that it looks pretty yeah for many people so they like that kind of style okay yeah so how to do it very simple you use a special class here rounded class yeah. you uh when you use an image element you add this class to your image element yeah so let us look at simple example here, this is a simple example. Yeah. So you can use the example I include in the zip file bsimage1.html. Yeah. You can see so rounded four rounded corners. So very nice. Right? Yeah, the code is like this. Code, you only need to look at this part. You add a class with value rounded that simple okay yeah so easy right so here you do not need a image editing software to make it rounded right yeah some software may may have that feature we don't need so much simpler than that yeah because here actually you do not modify the original image yeah so if someone else does not like this way they can go back to the original way right yeah so you do not really change the original image you just display it in a different way yeah all right so that's the first type second shape yeah, called a circle shape yeah yeah this way also very interesting yeah here the class name called rounded dash circle yeah so very simple straightforward yeah Let's look at a simple example. Yeah. 
So we can display an image inside a circle. Okay, yeah. So sometimes this effect looks pretty good, right? Yeah. So you can look at the example BS image 2html Yeah. For this particular feature, we just add the class rounded dash circle. Yeah. Here, definitely you need to include the bootstrap part, right? Remember the CD, CDN, right? C, CDN, yeah. Content directory network, right? Yeah. So we, in the example files, uh, I copied all the CDN lines. Yeah. So we do not need to download Bootstrap. The package package pretty big so we don't need to download that we just use the remote you know cd and uh, source yeah all right the third shape thumbnail shape yeah. sometimes you want to organize suppose you have um, many images so you want to give your users you know selection yeah so you put you know different images so the user can look at them and make a selection yeah so the th thumbnail uh, is also useful yeah here you can do that easily yeah the image img dash thumbnail class so you can do that yeah here in our example we have this bs image 3.html so you see uh, you know thumbnail style yeah a little smaller right you know some border some you know style at the border uh, you just put the, this class there yeah very straightforward yeah all right uh, here uh, we do these two basic features yeah next there is another basic feature uh, also we will use uh, frequently yeah. so that is the buttons yeah. buttons in html we have buttons right yeah. so usually the style of the html buttons very boring right yeah not look very good very boring yeah so if you want to make your page design look pretty, so you may like to use some good looking buttons. Here, using Bootstrap, so you can make your buttons look much better. And the way to use them, very simple. Here, I just give you a few examples. All right, button styles. Here you can see, I copy the code, many different styles. One line corresponds to one style. Yeah. So you can see the class name different. Basic class name, BTN, the button class. Then if you want to add a more different style way, yeah. so you use the second class to make it look different. Yeah. Basically it use different color, different you know, uh, display, style yeah so let me show you example yeah in bs button one dot html example you can see yeah so for each one you can see rounded the style rounded the corners okay then different color background right yeah so looks much better right yeah so based on what you need in the page so you can choose the suitable style to use yeah all right so this is uh, these styles uh, let me give you another example so then we, we will finish this part yeah button outline so for this example I do not display the you know the name of the classes for those styles yeah. 
So you can see in this bsbutton2.html, yeah, the look like this. Yeah. So here you can see you do not have background colors. Yeah. You just put color in the outline part. Yeah, outline part, different colors. Yeah, and uh, the font, the font also in different colors. Yeah. Other than that, the background black, uh, uh, white, white background, yeah, white background, yeah. All right, so there are many other styles. Here, I just give you some ideas. So if you want to use different button styles, so you can go to the Bootstrap documentation, right? So, so you can find the good one for you, yeah. All right, so we will finish this video, yeah. Uh, but uh, here, I may like to tell you, uh, I will give you project two uh, soon. Uh, in the project two, we will have five questions. Still five questions, uh, similar to the way in the project one. Uh, uh, we only have these two projects, project one, project two. Uh, five question, project one, five question, project two. So we have total 10 questions. Uh, so you, you should have plenty of chances to do the practice. In those five questions, I divide into three, two parts. The first part, three questions, still uh, HTML plus CSS plus JavaScript, okay? But the, for the CSS part, I may add the Bootstrap features. Some of the components, I may like you to use the bootstrap styles to do it. Yeah. All right, three. Then the last two, I want to give it to PHP. PHP, yeah. So we need to practice server-side programming PHP a little bit, yeah. But when I assign, I may first assign first que three questions and I post it. So you start to work, work on the first three questions. Yeah. Then after we learn PHP, you know, after a few days, after we learn the PHP, then I post the remaining two questions, PHP. Yeah. All right. So that's the plan. Yeah. All right, so let me finish this video here.